the present for this presentation, the scientist I chose was Elizabeth Blackburn. She is a world-renowned scientist and Nobel Prize winner. So how did she start her journey into science? Well, her parents were both physicians, and her grandparents on her mother's side were both geologists. She was born in Tasmania, a island just south from Australia, and later in life she moved to America. She grew up uh, loving animals and wildlife. She would play with jellyfish, and uh, she would have pet tadpoles in her room. She went to several schools, including a girls' grammar school when she was younger. Uh, during that, she had to go to public school since uh, physics wasn't offered in, the, in her grammar school. Um, for university, she went to the University of Melbourne. So when she was growing up, she dreamed of being a musician, uh, more specifically a pianist. Uh, she learned how to play as a child, um, but uh, late, she wanted to be a pianist, pianist when she grew up, however, it decided against it because uh, she thought she wasn't talented enough and thought her strong suit was biology. So her discoveries, uh, she found, she studied telomeres, the ends of chromosomes. Um, for this, she won a Nobel Prize because she was able to find much more about it. Because when she start, was starting to do science in these studies, people didn't know much about them. She was able to fi find out that they were made out of DNA. And because of her studies into this, over 10,000 new studies by different people opened up and a lot of information was able to be found. So her field of study, she studied biochemistry. Um, she really wanted to look into uh, DNA repairs and uh, part of that was uh, the telomeres. She was studying uh, life like pond scum, which would, uh, which could live forever because their DNA, the telomeres, uh, would replenish themselves. Her most recent work, Dynamic Imaging of Geometric Loic, in living human cells by optimizing CRISPR-Cas systems. This work, um, she's trying, uh, she's trying to visualize uh, CRISPR and cells and telomeres. Uh, um, So why do I admire her and her work so much? I really admire her because uh, um, she's doing something that I want to be doing later in life. I really want to do the same type of research as she's doing. And she was able to be really successful and well-known and uh, gave people a lot more knowledge in chromosomes and uh, DNA. Here are my sources.